Today, let's take a so-so quilt to a dramatic quilt. Hi, it's Fran Morgan with Fabric Cafe, and I'm your fabric matchmaker. Are you looking to add some dramatic flair to your quilts? Well, today we've got some tips to do just that. And we're gonna start with our first participant with Matchmaker, and it's Mimi. Now, Mimi sent in this really unique fabric here, which is a bit of a geometric with a little bit of a silver flare there, a little bit of a silver uh, touch on that grid and around the flowers. Very interesting fabric, Mimi. So let's go ahead and jump in and read what she says about this fabric. So Mimi writes, to our dear fabric matchmaker, I found this fabric in a discount pile and could not pass it by. I have an adult daughter with autism and she joins me in my quilting area whenever I'm sewing. Not sure why, but she is drawn to this fabric also. I think it may be the geometric pattern. We've been playing a game of hiding this fabric in my stash, and she usually finds it while I'm sewing. I'm having trouble finding a match that is feminine, but not childlike, since her age is actually 38 years old. The silver is not making it easy for me. Any suggestions for a direction to go would be much appreciated. Thank you for all you are doing to help those of us without many years of experience with quilting. Thank you. Sincerely, Mimi. Well, Mimi, I think we have something really wonderful and really dramatic to share with you today. So Mimi, I am gonna be placing your fabric in the jewels pattern. And jewels in and of itself, the pattern has so much interest and movement and wonderfulness about it that we're gonna be able to place your fabric in the number two position and then add two additional fabrics to really help it pop and really give it some drama. So let's get it on the table and let's go through the fabric and look and see what we've done. Now what I have done is I have placed your fabric in the number two position because really it's kind of a light fabric. It has a wonderful texture. It has that great geometric pattern to it and it's gonna work really, really well in the number two position. Now I have paired it with this amazing floral as our focus fabric. We have some pinks, some greens, and what's really great about this is there's a little bit of metallic around this floral as well. So it'll kind of coordinate with the metallic in your fabric. So I think it works perfect. So that floral is gonna go everywhere you see the floral here on the jewels pattern. Now, of course, we mentioned that your fabric will be in the number two where the cream is. And then the number three fabric is this kind of textural black. Now it's kind of got some dimension to it. It has kind of a linen-y feel to it because it has the lights and the darks. That is gonna go everywhere the blue is. Now I really like this because you did mention in your letter that um, your daughter really liked the geometric patterns of your fabric. And I think Jules picks that up perfectly. So you have it in your fabric as well as in the quilt piecing itself. So it's going to be amazing. You see that it just has so much pop, so much energy, and has really turned out to be a beautiful, beautiful quilt. And hopefully your daughter is going to love it. All right. For participating today, Mimi, we appreciate it so much. I am going to be sending you a copy of our book, One Block, Three Yard Quilts. This does have the jewel pattern in it. I'm also going to be sending you one yard of fabric number one and one yard of fabric number three so you can get that made up. Okay, now let's look and see what we have done for everyone else. You know how we like to do those look-alike kits and I think we have something just amazing. Now as we started this episode, we talked about adding drama to your quilts and we're going to talk about that a little bit. Let me go through the fabric first, and then I'm gonna tell you why I picked what I picked. So we have the same beautiful focus here. We have our wonderful floral with the pink flowers, the green, the nice cream, and this beautiful black background. This, of course, is going where the floral is here. Now we picked a number two that also had some texture to it. Couldn't find anything quite like Mimi's fabric, but we've got something really close, and it's gonna go in the back here. So it keeps our interest in that background and it's really very, very cool. And then we have our black textural here. Now this of course is that linen kind of feel with the grays and the blacks together. That is gonna go everywhere the blue is. 
Okay, the reason why Mimi's quilt looked so amazing and had so much moodiness and drama and just that wow factor to it is because I put it with this floral. Now this floral has a black background. Usually when we're working with florals and things like this, our inclination is to pull a color from the floral, the green, the pink, the ecru, or something like that. But in this case, because this floral is on a black background, I really love putting the black with it because that's gonna give it its additional grounding and really make it dramatic and really get that cohesiveness in there. I'm gonna show you an image first that is a beautiful quilt. And what we've done is we've pulled the green out as our number three so that you can see what it looks like with that. But does it quite have that, that drama and that wow that we're looking for? All right, now let's look at it with the black as our number three. And you can see the drama and the, just the amazing <laughs> way that this works together with the black background in the floral and the black as our number three. It works so well. And when you see it, it does. It just has this wow factor and this drama. So this is really amazing. Matching your background with your number three is a great way to add that drama. All right, let's get the kit information on this for you. This is called a Treasured Bouquet. The pattern is Jewels from the One Block Three Yard Quilts book. And we are also suggesting an alternate pattern because that Jewels pattern's only in the book, our alternate of Kaleidoscope. So our next participant today is Jackie. And Jackie sent in this really pretty floral and it kind of has a little bit of that vintage feel, which I think is kind of cool. We've got all different kinds of flowers here. It's kind of on a brownish red background, which is very interesting. So I really love the way all of these colors flow together. It's very, very pretty. So let's see what Jackie has to say about her fabric. Jackie writes, I found two and a half yards of this floral fabric at a local thrift store. Haven't had luck on finding fabric or a pattern to use with it. I haven't had any practice with florals, so I sure need help to make it a beautiful quilt. Thank you. Well, Jackie, I think we have just the thing for you. So let's go look at the pattern that we've selected. So Jackie, we have decided to put your fabric in the modern charm pattern here. And the reason why is because we have a nice big block here so that your fabric, which is a larger print, is gonna look fantastic in this block. Then we're gonna put it with a number two and three that coordinate, that adds some pop in this area here. So it's really gonna work well. This quilt's gonna also go together really quick. So let's put it on the table and see the fabrics that we've matched with yours. I have decided to put your fabric in that focus position. So it is gonna go everywhere you see the floral here. So that's gonna work really well because it is a larger floral print and we do wanna showcase it and see it there. So I have partnered it with our number two here, which is kind of a, a darker beige, not a darker beige, but a, a little bit of a beige with a white print on it that's gonna work as the background on your number three fabric and your alternate block here. Because we do need that connection. And as you can see, this beige picks up the beige on this area of the flower here, which works great. All right, then for our number three, I have coordinated it with kind of this, kind of a wine color, burgundy color, which looks very, very close to the background on your color. Remember we talked about that on the first quilt that we were looking at, how we're, we find our background and then we match our number three fabric to that. And that is definitely what I tried to do here instead of trying to pull out a color from the floral. So this color is gonna go everywhere you see the churn dash here on our alternate block as well as on the border. And it really, really does coordinate well. And I think it turned out fantastic. And you can see that your floral fabric really pops in that block, which I really, really like because it is a beautiful vintage floral and I just love it. And I think it goes together really well with our creamy beige there and our wine color. All right, and of course, for participating today, Jackie, thank you so much. I will be sending you one copy of the book, Quick as a Wink, that has our modern charm, as well as one yard of the number two fabric and one yard of the number three fabric. If you would like to participate in Matchmaker, please visit our website at fabriccafe.com. 
go to our free goodies tab and there you will be able to find the entry form for the fabric matchmaker. Now there, please fill out your information. Give us just a little bit about how you acquired the fabric. It doesn't need to be a big story or anything. Anything that you have about the history of the fabric would be fantastic. And then just send it in. I prefer a 12 inch swatch so that I can give some beautiful images for everyone to see and you of course. All right, now let's see what we have for everyone else because I think this turned out fabulous. All right, now, naturally, I could not find the exact match of Jackie's fabric because it is more of a vintage fabric, but we did find one that has some of the wines in it, which I think is very good. We have some of a similar coloring here. This is really pretty. It's also a larger floral. It is just gorgeous, and it is gonna go in the big block here. And then we have a number two, which is a nice creamy white with a little bit of texture. And of course, it's gonna pick up the creams in our flowers, very similar to Jackie's. We've got that pulled in there. That is gonna be the background here and a little on our border. And then a great linen-y textured black. Now, why did I choose black as the number three fabric? Remember we talked about pulling in that background color? so that you can get that pop and that drama and that balance in your quilt. That is what we've done here. So we've used the number three because it mimics the background in our focus. And that number three fabric is gonna go here in all of our churn dash as well as on the border. So it is going to really help give that drama. I have an image for you on the screen and this is a very nice quilt. It looks very good. We have pulled some of the golds out and used them as the number three fabric. But you can see it's very pretty, but it doesn't have that punch that we're looking for. So now let's look at the image of the kit fabric here. And you can see how the black coordinates with the black background and how it just adds that drama and that wow and that pizzazz that we're looking for. Alrighty, let's get your kit information on this. This kit is called Floral Perfection. The pattern is Modern Charm, which is only available in the Quick as a Wink book. So we are recommending an alternate pattern of Heartland. So our next fabric was sent in by Helen. And Helen sent in this beautiful floral. I mean, this floral, has so many different colors, some pinks, some greens, some rust, some grays, just so, so gorgeous. And what's really interesting about this is the floral is just such a collage that you really can't even see the background, which is kind of interesting. So we're gonna talk about that in a minute. Now let's read what Helen has to say about this fabric. She writes, I have a friend who loves to haunt thrift stores. Whenever she sees fabric, she will buy it for me. I have several three yard quilts planned for several fabrics she has given me. I can't figure out what to put with it that won't make it end up a dark, gloomy quilt. I'd like to make a quilt out of it for my friend as I am retiring soon and probably won't see her very much if we aren't working together. I have many of your books and really enjoy making your quilts and donating them to charity. Oh, also, when I spread this fabric out, I realized I was not the first person to be stumped by it. There was a two yard sale price sticker on it. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Thanks so much for your help, Helen. P.S. I'm kind of addicted and a big fan. <laughs> well, thank you, Helen, so much. I appreciate that. And a very interesting story that you found that sticker that was on it from two different yard sales. I think that's just absolutely hilarious. So let's get the pattern for you. Let's show you what we've selected for that and then we will put it together with some additional fabrics. So Helen, I have chosen to put your fabric in stepping stones. And this is a great pattern. Now this is kind of a staple here at Fabric Cafe. We use stepping stones a lot because it's such a great pattern. It's gonna go together easily. Now we have a nice focus fabric block here that's gonna really show off your fabric. But what we also have is a nice um, alternate block that creates a little movement on the surface. We've got some light here, some darker here, so that our eye travels around the quilt, which is very important, especially when you have a darker fabric. So let's put it on the table and check out what we've put with it. So Helen, I placed your fabric in the number one position, as I mentioned, at the quilt. And it is here, and it will go in these blocks here. 
Now, I know you mentioned that you didn't really want anything dark and gloomy, so I made sure that our number two fabric had a lot of sunshine in it. So we have put this wonderful gold in here. It's kind of a beigey gold. It kind of goes light and dark, and it is gonna go right here. And I think in just a minute, whenever we show the image, you're gonna see that it looks like the sunshine is coming in from the background to illuminate all of your beautiful florals. Now what I've done is I've put your fabric also with a black as the number three. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna give your eye that place to move. So your eye is not gonna focus just on the focal fabric and the darkness of it, but it's also gonna travel around the quilt so that you can pick up all of that sunshine that's coming in from the number two fabric. So it's gonna work really, really well. And it's, it is, it's almost like you've got a lattice work and the sunshine is coming through and your focus fabric is just illuminated by all of that sunshine. I think it just turned out beautifully. Stepping stones worked really well and it's gonna be a really quick one to put together for your friend. So I hope she really loves it. So Helen, for participating today, we are going to be sending you the book, Pretty Darn Quick with Three Yard Quilts, as well as one yard of your number two fabric and one yard of your number three fabric. All right, now let's see what we have for everyone else because we have something equally as beautiful. So here we have a fabric that has a very similar feel a lot of the same coloring with those darker rust and pumpkins and greens and it really is a beautiful beautiful fabric also kind of a larger print just like helen's print we are going to put this floral in our number one position which is where the floral is on our sample here and then our number two is that same kind of sunshiny kind of a a warm gold and that is going to go in the background here and as you can see of course it picks up the golds in our focus fabric and then our number three is the great black here it's got some good texture to it now remember what we were talking about earlier how we want to match our background to the number three fabric and that's what adds the drama so we've put the drama in this it is going to be in our stepping stones here as well as on the border and it looks fantastic. To make my point, I want to show you a quilt that is very nice, but doesn't quite have that punch that we're looking for. Here is our stepping stones, and we have the pumpkin put in the number three, that pumpkin color. And as you can see, the pumpkin matches beautifully. It just doesn't seem to have that punch that we're looking for. Now let's look at it in our kit fabric that we have selected, where we have put the black as the number three, which matches our background and how striking it turns out to be and how just like Helen's quilt, that sunshine is coming through and it's illuminating all of those beautiful florals. And that black is our place to travel with our eye. It's really just turned out amazing. All right, so let's get the kit information on this for you. This kit is called Sweet Nature. It is our stepping stones pattern and it is from the Pretty Darn Quick book. I really enjoyed matching all of the floral fabrics today. Thank you for those participants that sent them in. And I also wanna thank everyone that came up and said hello at the International Quilt Festival in Houston. Really enjoyed meeting you and thank you for all the love that you shared with me. Now, if you would like to see more tips on how to make dramatic quilts, be sure and check out the video that pops up next. It's Fran Morgan, your fabric matchmaker.